Brought to you by GuySpy.com, the world's leading and most advanced men-for-men -men social network. Download the mobile app today. is such a talented young actor and so dedicated to the craft. He would often come to set, uh, especially in the early days of shooting, and just, and just watch or watch my footage and try and you know, pick up mannerisms that I was bringing uh, to the role and, and to, um, to replicate those in his own performance. He had five pages of the script for our audition. He hadn't read the whole script, just five pages. Same five pages all the actors in LA got. You're jealous of Shane. Is that what this is all about, you and me? He got that character from those five pages. He's a weird, weird character. It's like he's good down at the center of himself, but then he puts up a, a dark shell around that to protect himself. Get off me! And then it's almost like there's another good shell on top of that, and then another bad shell on top of that, and it slowly through the script just kind of cracks into each thing and you slowly get to see him dissolve. We don't get along too well, do we? Nope. I'm scared. He's, he's a really, really good actor. I don't know, there's, there's just a lot of chemistry, a lot of... lots of things he does that actually help me to, to, be, to be a better actor or to, to make Shane Lyons into a more interesting character. It's really nice. It's, it's always fun when you have like something interesting going on between two actors. It can help making the scenes way better than you could have thought that was possible. Hey. Hey. Richard's great. I mean, talented and uh, really easy to work with and um, very considerate, you know. This is his first major starring role and he has just impressed me with his discipline uh, the attention to detail. He, he's delivered an amazing performance in, in this role. And sometimes you work with other actors, particularly in a romantic sense, and you know the camera turns around and gets your close-ups, and um, that other actor, since they're off camera, they're giving you 50%, 20%, and Richard's always systematically giving it to you so that you can be your 100%. Most people walk facing the direction they're headed, CW. Timo, is, everyone loves him. I love him. He's a sweetheart. Shane Lyons is a little bit, uh, I always say he's a little bit evil. He's not actually. Um, he's just, yeah, this spoiled rich kid who always gets what he wants. He's, he's used to getting what he wants. He wants this time, he wants Danny. He's a mean, mean character. I have a surprise for you. Not the person himself, the character, Shane. Um, Timo is probably the nicest person that I've ever seen play a mean character. <laughs> Shane is sort of the titular villain of the, of the story, uh, but I think everyone in this story does some good and everyone does some bad. There was every reason in the world for us not to hire Timo. 
Timo, when you meet him, I mean, he's basically the Zac Efron of, of Belgium, and I, he hates that, by the way. Splatter. He didn't fit our concept of Shane Lyons. So he was very persistent and he was very assertive. He asked me to make an audition tape. Uh, I had no idea that I was supposed to just do that in front of a gray wall or whatever. So I actually uh, went to a location, I filmed those two scenes. They staged it on location with a boom mic and everything. And we liked what we saw and we realized that we could do some things with Shane that were different from the original concept of the, of the character because we cast Timo. One, splatter. Three, two, one, splatter. I believed wholeheartedly that when I stepped foot on that first adult set, whatever mainstream aspirations I may have harbored, well, I might as well have kissed them goodbye.